Well, good afternoon. Uh, thank you for coming out on this beautiful day, uh, beautiful afternoon in Florida. Uh, before I introduce the crew to you, I, uh, I would just like to take a moment to recognize the fact that it is Veterans Day. Um, thank you again all for coming out on the federal holiday. Uh, we, uh, we would just like to pay a, a, a tribute to uh, all the men and women who have served and who will serve and who are retired. Uh, we have five active duty members on this, uh, this fine space shuttle crew, and uh, we know what it means to serve. So uh, on behalf of the whole crew, I would like to uh, pay a special thanks uh, and debt of gratitude to those currently serving overseas. Okay, the crew of STS-126. Uh, to my left, Sandy Magnus. Sandy Magnus is our rotation crew member. Uh, she has the, uh, the fortune of spending four months uh, up on station. She'll be brought uh, back by the uh, crew of STS-119 sometime in uh, likely February. Uh, to Sandy's right, uh, Steve Bowen. Steve Bowen is our MS2. Uh, he's our, uh, the first Navy submariner, and he is a captain in the U.S. Navy. And uh, he'll be performing three of the spacewalks, and uh, he'll be leading the last one. Immediately to my left, Shane Kimbrough. Shane Kimbrough is a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Army. Uh, Shane will be performing two of the spacewalks, and uh, he's a graduate of the military academy. To my right, the pilot Eric Bow. Uh, Eric Bow is a uh, graduate of the Air Force Academy, and uh, this will be his uh, this will be his first flight. And I know, uh, like I was on my first flight, he's eagerly anticipating that uh, that e-ticket ride into space. To his right, uh, Don Pettit. Don is uh, no stranger to space flight. He's a veteran of Expedition Six. He spent six months on the International Space Station, followed by a rocky ride in a Soyuz spacecraft back to the Kazakh Plains uh, in uh, in Russia. And finally, uh, Heidi Piper. Heidi Piper is the lead spacewalker. Uh, Heidi and I flew together on STS-115. Uh, she will uh, she will be uh, choreographing the uh, the three or the four spacewalks and uh, participating in three of them. This uh, this mission is all about home improvement, uh, home improvement both inside and outside of the International Space Station. On the inside of the space station, uh, the walls are largely up. Uh, we've had some uh, some large modules delivered in the last year. Well, it's moving day. It's time to fill them up. And on the outside, on the outside, we have some never before attempted repair work. Uh, that repair work will be to uh, uh, hopefully improve the performance of a uh, of a faulty rotation. Uh, solar alpha joint rotation mechanism with grease. We've never tried anything like this. So on our first EVA out there on uh, flight day number five, uh, Heidi and Steve will, uh, will hit the bricks with, uh, with grease guns, scrapers, and new trundle bearings in an attempt to bring new life back to the solar alpha joint. Okay, with that, what I'd like to do is uh, bring Heidi up. She can share a few words about the uh, spacewalks. Thank you, uh, Chris. Uh, just like to echo what he said, we're all uh, very, very happy to be here. Um, this is like the, the end of a long journey. And uh, prior to touching down, we all took a, a little side trip and uh, swung around the orbiter. It looks good on the pad. And uh, we're very excited on getting up to orbit. Uh, as Chris had mentioned, we got uh, a packed mission. Going to take a lot of uh, equipment inside a station, fill out the empty walls, so to speak. And outside, uh, hopefully, we'll make station uh, back to the way it's supposed to be. You know, as we all know that uh, there comes a time and it's time to start doing maintenance, and uh, this is it, and we're ready to go. So we're very excited and very happy to go. So thank you very much for coming out here. Thanks so much. Commander Chris Ferguson is putting on his launch and entry suit. Commander Ferguson is a U.S. Navy captain who was born in Philadelphia. Pilot Eric Bow, a U.S. Air Force Colonel. This is his first space flight. He's logged over 4,000 hours in 45 different aircraft. Pilot Bow, giving a little wave. Mission Specialist Donald Pettit. He's the Mission Specialist One. This is his second space flight. He was an Expedition 6 science officer. He spent over 161 days in space. Sandy Magnus. Sandy is a veteran of space flight STS-112. She's going to stay on board as the Expedition 18 flight engineer and a science officer.
Mission, mission Specialist Heidi Marie Stephanie Piper. Heidi Piper is a veteran of one space flight. She was on STS-115. She's the lead STS-126 spacewalker. She'll conduct three spacewalks. Mission Specialist 4, Army Lieutenant Colonel Shane Kimbrough, served in Operation Desert Storm. This is his first spacewalk, or first space flight, and he will conduct two spacewalks. Mission Specialist Steve Bowen, he's Mission Specialist 2, a U.S. Navy captain. This is his first space flight, putting on his launch and entry suit. He will conduct three spacewalks. Let's go for main engine start. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour, preparing our home in space for a larger international family. Houston now controlling. Houston Endeavour roll program. Roger roll Endeavour. Commander Chris Ferguson confirming Endeavour is rolling on course for a rendezvous with the International Space Station. Feet 1,000 miles an hour, altitude 1 mile, downrange distance 6.5 miles from Kennedy Space Center already. down to 72% of the rate of thrust as the shuttle goes through the realm of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Altitude 5 miles, downrange 8 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Speed 1,500 miles an hour. Endeavor, go at throttle up. All systems remain go. Speed 2,000 miles an hour, altitude 10 miles, downrange distance 12 miles from Kennedy Space Center. It's one and a half minutes since launch. Endeavour has consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant and weighs less than half of what it did at launch. Standing by for burnout of the twin solid rocket boosters and jettison.
Booster Officer confirms a clean separation of the two solid rockets. Endeavor's three main engines continuing the second stage, accelerating with 37 million horsepower. Speed 350 miles an hour, altitude 2,000 feet. Landing gear down. Gear down and locked. Touchdown. Oh, there close flying drag chute that'll help slow Endeavor on the runway. Nose gear touchdown. Final reveal for Endeavour's home improvement to the International Space Station mission is now complete. 124th Space Shuttle mission, 27th Shuttle mission of the station, and the 22nd mission for Endeavour. Copy. We'll stop Endeavor. Welcome back. That was a great way to finish a fantastic flight, Fergie.